Hello everyone, welcome back to the Roguelike Monthly Marathon for April 23rd. We're back again in Heavy Bullets. I feel like I have a, a feud with Heavy Bullets now. We've gone to the final boss twice, and I think uh, I need to set right-click up for reload. Alright, that's done. I don't do it in the game engine because I just do it in my mouse and keyboard remapping software. There's our sixth bullet. Now we're just gonna poke around looking for any early secret rooms, trying not to get bit by snakes in the early game. And we're just gonna try and move swiftly but carefully. Early med bay completely useless since we of course have no money yet. And we're gonna try and position ourselves as best we can for beating that final boss in eight floors. Hey, uh. Boom, boom. Just the two of you, no more, no less. I will take an early mega bomb. Last session I found my first ever non-boss room related health up, so now I feel like I have to check every corner just on the off chance that one of the rooms contains a free health up. And for now we're going to be trying to get enough money for health ups. Maybe a backpack would be nice. But so far so quiet. Listening out for the little chirps of snakes and such as we approach. They do make a little noise in the headphone, especially from behind a wall as you approach. But big toothy boys, nothing to worry about. Banking, we've got nothing to offer. Is there an alternate route back here? Is this an entirely different route? Interesting. We can get through one way without a door, or the other way with a door, which seems bizarre. Hello. And if we can find any, we'll of course take keys to try and get into locked item rooms as we go. Never know what benefit we might find inside. Nothing to be found here behind this grass. And so carrying on. Looking for snakes. Always, always looking for snakes. And my internal GPS. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I wasn't sure which way was not north, but effectively forward. But we got back on route. And an early knife. Don't think I need it. Most of the time we get by with our bullets just fine. Trying to hoard a few extra bullets for the final boss might not be the worst plan. And I'm not really sure what other upgrades and bonuses will best serve us in that boss fight? It's always just a little bit haphazard. Rockets, running shoes, mega bombs, and bullets. We could just buy four bullets now. But I guess they're only going to get more expensive is the thing. But that's the same with everything. All right, let's go heavy on bullets this run. Give us more ability to spam our shots into enemies as we go around corners. And if we're doing that, then we shouldn't need money for healing as much. We know there's going to be some enemies just out here to the left, I'm sure. There's one. All right. 
This is the all money on bullets run. Until we get hurt at least. But until then, every penny on bullets. No turrets yet. I expect them on the first floor. I didn't think they were exclusive to the second floor, but I could be wrong. I could just be not paying enough attention. I wouldn't put it past me. And there you have a turret. Probably another one right here. Maybe there. Get that stuff in a hot second. Banking, we don't need. What I should do is just do a couple of runs off camera as practice. Fill the bank with heaps of money. And then on one run where I really decide to try and go for it, that can be the run where I withdraw all the cash, buy 400 bullets in every health up, and give myself the best shot at a win. And maybe that is the strategy I will employ if I do a whole roguelike monthly marathon again. But for now, we're just going to keep it breezy. Going with what we've got. So floor one, down. Six minutes. Straight into floor two. No secret rooms yet. But lots of little cubbies and hidey holes. There's a med bay. Probably got a max health up I'll regret not having cash for, but that's the bed I've made. Nope, there's a gold potion or focus pills, but we won't be needing that for now. This seam is not the seam of an item room or a hidden room. Sometimes there's a tiny black X on the wall indicating a secret room. Other times, just nothing. And that's a speed pill, focus pill, speed pill. I don't really see that how that is much of a benefit, if I'm honest. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I guess speedrunners would be happy for it. All right, we've got Pink Explodey Boys are in the game. Looking out for turrets, as always. We currently do not have any keys for this item room on our right. But we might be able to creep up through this grass and attack anything on the other side before we are seen, like that turret. As ever, looking for snakes, looking for snakes. There's a big toothy guy on the other side of the grass. My bullet short, I thought I'd bought five. There it is. Always good to keep track. No secrets here. No keys, on we move. Obviously, the less we can get hit, the less money we have to spend on standard healing, which means we can invest that money in ourselves in other ways. Anything here we want? Uh, I'll get one more bomb to round us out to a full extra six. There's a secret room. And it just, oh, it has a ritual blade. That's not a standard knife. Sacrifice for money. I guess that's health for money. But I don't know how much health for how much money. I guess we could use it, like, once and see what happens. I'm hoping it's not max health. I'm hoping it's only temporary health. 
Okay, so it took one full heart and gave us 20 gold in return. Well, one full heart of healing is worth 30 out of Ending Machine at this stage, so we can't abuse the system, but we'll take the extra gold. We'll find a red potion somewhere along the line, I imagine. If not, a whole gold potion. Nice friendly snake. Friendly neighborhood snake. I feel like there should be a turret around here somewhere. I guess there's not. I'd love a mini-map in this game. Even just one that is kind of only filled in as you clear the fog of war. Just to make the backtracking a little bit simpler. Snake. And the scissor arms have appeared. There's a turret. I really thought we were going to get hit by that as we stood backwards. I don't know if we can make it into that corner or whether we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Well, we got the attention of something else. It's not chasing us down yet. And the extra bullets coming in handy right now. And a whole bunch of stuff to pick up here. But as long as there's nothing left trying to kill us, that's not a problem. And we have a key. Very nice. And we have all of our bullets. I don't hear the sound of gold popping around. And that is two extra mega bombs. We cap out our inventory at three. But I'm grateful to have those. Particularly as we zoom towards the boss fight. That's why you don't stand directly in front of doors. At least not for as long as possible. That was a rubbish shot. Another one to our left perhaps? No? No? Just your standard foes. Another bank. We could sell a mega bomb and go back and pick up the other. Although this door might lock off, so I'll skip that for now. Something behind here, perhaps? Uh, we will take this ore chunk. Because this bank is not between any doors. And sell that for 35. And now we've got a decent chunk of change for floor two. Okay, that's a really, really lame place for a turret to be. There's no way out to the left here. I want to know if we can get behind that corridor safely. We can. There's another mega bomb. Lots and lots of them on this floor. Not that it's going to do me any good trying to shoot that guy. Probably get to this corner here if it's safe. Fairly big gamble. Nice of him to rear his head against us before he try and lunges in. So we've got two turrets. This pillar is defending us from the one on the right, which might let us squeeze into the one on the left. Well, 
one down. Check behind it before we move out. Look for snakes. And just gently step up to this guy. And that should be clear. Looking for snakes just when you think everything's safe is when you're most likely to get bit. We have all of our ammo. Nothing hiding around here. Get the last of our gold. There's an exit. Something hiding behind here. Is that three homing bombs? Let's try homing bombs instead of mega bombs today. They might let us get to some of the more awkward enemies around corners more easily, perhaps. Floor number three. As ever, plenty of nice, long, windy corridors. And there's our alternate entrance from the start. I like that they make the same noise no matter how close or far they are to you, I believe. See, now bullets are up to $20 a go, so I'm glad we got a bunch while they were at 10 bucks. Not going to take anything else. And if we find a vending machine, we can now top up our health to max, or perhaps even afford a health up. Right. Let's look for danger. There's another homing bomb there. Oh, that's the part of the dead one we just shot. We found an extra key back here, which is nice. So if we want to pop off a homing bomb in our very near future, we can do so. And then replenish it. I assume three is the cap. Yes. Well, now might be that time, because we're going to get locked after we go through this door anyway. Did that work as beautifully as I intended? It did. Nice when a plan comes together. Snake. Damn. Is that a med bay? It is. It's a mosquito. Really, I should investigate the med bay before peeking this. But we're here now. Alright. I have many regrets. Alright, that'll do. Snake. Hello. I didn't even see you there. And that back way has been locked off. That's why I'm grateful we went and picked up the homing bomb that was available to us. Before charging on. Any more? Anybody else like a piece? Alright, we can probably get that guy from the left. Provided there's a full route around here. Let's just check our six first. 
Yep, just an alternate route round. However, evidently this is not a way we can get through. Well, I'm glad I heard that one coming from directly around the corner before dealing with the turret ahead of us. up to nine spares. It's probably more bullets than I've had in any previous run. And don't want any of that stuff. Get the shallow angle on the door. Well, that's an awful place for that. I think I can get to this corner here if there isn't too much other stuff going on on that left side, which there isn't. Nothing else down the long corridor. I think the power box is on the right hand side of this turret. So from the left we can tiptoe in. Always nice when you can find the back of a turret before it sees you. A rare treat. Alright, nothing else immediately trying to kill me. That's a button for a door. More banking. We have all of our bullets accounted for. Snakes. Snakes. Make. And I don't know if these two doors are going to go to the same place. It's the no smoking room. Just an extra bank and nothing else. So this will be our way forward. Shallow end of the door. Okay, must be coming towards the end of floor three now. Expecting a turret or something here. Is that a turret or a grate? Looks like a grate. Or as I like to call them, a not very good. Oh, it's a button. Well, in that case, it's an excellent. And take back what I said. Detonator. Detonate standard bombs. Mm, I don't want to play with that. Thanks very much. I'll keep my homing bombs. They like to move quick, don't they? Turrets, turrets. There's a turret. I can hear a mosquito thrumming. And there's our exit. I'd love to know if there's a standard number of rooms per floor, but I'm certainly not about to start counting. And there's a coin somewhere. I 
There it is. Leave no free money left behind. And floor four with the mini boss at the end. I'm not sure how the homing bombs will deal with that boss, but certainly seems like it should be a great benefit to us. I know he has his four power banks on his sides. So I don't know if they'll go all the way around the large creature. Well, that's embarrassing. It's because I got hung up thinking about whether a robot is a creature or not. That's where my brain was in that instant. But still, two hearts, decent place to be. Can probably afford a health up if we can find one. That's half the battle with these things. Let's not stand in front of that turret. There's a key card. Very welcome. There's a snake. And look, an item room. Use it or lose it. Uh, antidote. Gold potion. Uh, I'm just going to pop it. Obviously, it's worth three hearts, but I want to keep my homing bombs and we do not yet have a backpack. But I'm grateful for the free healing. No health up here. Don't need more of this stuff. Oh, we will take a backpack, though. Now I'm mad that we consumed that potion so quickly, but can't change it. I can hear mosquitoes. I can see snakes. Oh, that's only one of you. Probably get safe behind that pillar if we have to. This turret is quite far away. Oh. Well, that was going really well until it wasn't. Those mosquito things have got wings. And by that, they've got legs. But I was referring to their fly speed, not their walking speed, so... To say they had legs didn't really make sense, but to say they have wings makes less sense. Should go around and collect all of our money and ammo. Oh, you... That's it. It's when you get relaxed. That's when the snakes get you. Right, is there a med bay that's still open behind us? Because I will use it. This one behind us to our left, or is that a bank? No, this is a med bay. Money burnt on healing. And I get a sneeze. Ah. I'm glad you didn't have to have that shatter your eardrums. All right, so we have nine bullets, full health, three homing bombs. Nothing to be mad about. Let's not tilt. Just keep pressing on slowly but surely. Don't call me surely. No keys. Another bank. So many banks. I can't say that I'd have ever needed banking services this much. Uh, there's snake. No. Nope. As I said, there's something behind that wall. It was not a snake. It was a big slicey bastard. Oh, Jesus. 
Man, that jump scared the crap out of me. So dumb. Uh, more banks. More things that we don't need. And I can still hear things knocking around the corners. Okay, let my blood pressure return back down to normal. I do prefer the great big rooms where you have much better scope of seeing everything that's going on. That is not a snake. There is no loot here. There's a bullets and stuff. Offering us a backpack also. I wonder if we could carry nine home or well, six homing bombs if I put these into the backpack and then had empty hands. There's a key card. Very nice. See, this is too much bullets. Although this one is orange. And this one is green. Because the people that design the game like different colours. Literally the only reason I can think of. That's not a pink explodey bastard. That is a snake though. Alright, that went pretty well. There's a med bay. I can hear some mosquitoes in the distance. machines that I care about. No. I can hear a single piece of gold plonking around somewhere. There it is. And probably one more set of rooms until the boss. And we'll see how all our homing bombs do. You cruel, cruel turret. All right, I really didn't expect this many things in such a tiny space. But it's fine, because this item room is going to have a gold potion in it. Isn't it? Item room. Nope, it has a coin magnet. Well, since we have the backpack, we'll hold it. There's our boss room. Was there a med bay back here? Yes. All right, nothing else to do but go fight our boss. So three homing bombs. We probably don't want to be in the range of our own homing bomb blasts. So it will probably be shoot the tractor beam turret on our left and then start making circles around while shooting the boss and letting off a couple of bombs. That bent, bent, that went about as well as expected. To come out with a heart and a half. I'm pretty happy with that. Any secrets, any extra health, any hidey holes. It appears not. But I'll do my due diligence and then down onto floor five. All right.
And here we are with our torch. There's our first charger of the floor. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Just uh, charge around the corner in the same animation you were using in the initial attack when you didn't resolve the first attack. That's fine. That's on me, I'm sure. Alright, let's try and get around this corner without dying. Oh, wow, that coin magnet is effective. Can't deny it that. Of course, our bullets are not coins. There's a key. Nice to have that. A mosquito up in the air here. No, a little further along, but I can still hear it. Oh, there's a turret flying there, I think. No, just the beating wing. Always gets me when they have one flying behind the other. That's very cruel. Alright, well, just hunting down a medbay now. Obviously, we'd like something to replace the bombs that we spent. There's a big guy here. And I can't shoot you through the charger. Let's not get hung up on this turret behind us. And when they are so close, you can afford to spam ammo. Apparently those guys have very short range. There's another turret to its left. Good shooting. Antidote or gold potion? Antidote, I'm sure, yep. Yeah. Well, we have two item slots, so we will hold on to it. In our whole time playing this game, I don't think I've ever been poisoned, even when I've been attacked by snakes. So, unless it's the mosquitoes that do it, perhaps. I'm not really sure where the poison would come from. Snake. I heard you. Always in front of the vending machines, isn't it? Well, I could sell my coin magnet, but we have plenty of cash right now, and it's saving me a bit of time looking around for those last few bits of gold. Is that everyone? Pick up another key. There's a secret room. Leech stone. Chance to heal on kill. That is so good. I will so gladly hold on to that for the rest of time. Leech stone glows. Well, that's incredibly efficient. Leech stone crumbles. Oh. Well, here I thought it was just going to hang around a bunch. But we get a mega bomb for our worries. I'll hold on to that instead of going back for the coin magnet.
still no max health ups. But I will take a standard heal. Looks like a big room possibly to our left here. No, just more corridors. Could pick up a red potion and hold it, but it seems very inefficient. There's three more homing bombs. They did us well in the previous boss fight. Uh, mosquito guy, did you get blown up by another enemy's turret? Perhaps. Well, I don't like that way. Let's go the other way. And backpedal very quickly. Oh. Man, when there's two of them on top of each other, I think they also clip through one another slightly, which makes that very rough. That's not the med bay. Where was the med bay? Take my money, med bay. I just want to be alive. There's a turret here somewhere. Get that snake as well. And that one for good measure. I think that's probably safe. All of our ammo accounted for. And there was nothing on this side, nothing on that side. Get to a shallow angle on the door. Nothing coming through immediately to kill us. Oh, look. Stuff that wants to try and kill us. Oh wow, I don't like trying to deal with all these guys at once. Oh wow, you are fast. Jeez. Just be dead. Well, that's probably the worst I've played this game ever. Let's go collect my shambles of ammo that is everywhere now. Alright, we got them all. That's even more homing bombs. And a free key. Well, if we want to use them immediately, we can pop off some homing bombs if there's anything awkward coming up. Like, really tight corridors, full of danger. I think this complex of pillars maybe comes always at the end of this level. Can't see this guy's butt. Not a snake. Oh boy. Nice to get him. Go the jump on him, though. Any more awkward stuff hiding in the maze of pillars? Of course, a thousand snakes. 
Couldn't be anything else but a thousand snakes. All right, have we been... Yes, we've been locked out of that. So, is this the end of the floor? Perhaps not. All right, there's a turret back there. At least two mosquitoes coming through. Got a spare key. Yep. Pink guy. Alright, I can see the exit. It's a bullet magnet, I believe. I'd actually rather have that than an antidote. It'll help keep all my ammo together, especially in the late game where I get more frantically trying to shoot everything that moves. All right, nothing else. No, no. All right, down we go. What is this now, floor six? Floor six. So now we can be extra liberal shooting stuff further away from us because our bullets should just zip back to us at a reasonable range. Yeah, we got like huge return callback on those. Just another dead end. Oh, you explodey thing. I was so consumed by the uh, tractor beam turret. All right, let's store uh, banking deposit. Uh, there's three hundred dollars. This way, if we die, we have cash in the bank ready for next time. And I think with what we have now, we should still be able to heal to two and a half hearts with the cash we have. If we wish to, slash get the opportunity to. Because of course, I'd like to have more health. Oh boy. Potion. Alright, not at immediate risk of death now. But not exactly happy about what just happened. And I don't know where we're going. Okay, this way. Get the very early snake. Charger. Oh, I could have got the butt. I could have got the butt. And once again, we were attacked very quickly by the guy with teeth. Probably go back and get another red potion, right? It's probably within the realm of possibility. So much money going on healing. Although, with no opportunities to increase our max health, it's probably not going to amount to much in the boss fight anyway. There's a turret behind that giant pillar and a charger. All right, I'm going to take the left of this pillar, get behind this turret. Oh, 
They blew up the vending machine. Scanned some coins around. Good to know. And a key card. Okay. Yep. I heard that before I decided to investigate the grass. And I'm really glad I did, just so I don't have to live in the knowledge that there might have been something behind it that wasn't there. There's probably another snake on the back of this wall. Just terrible shooting. That far less bad. Charger. Thank you, Bullet Magnet, for making that whole process a lot easier. I thought I heard a snake around here. Probably... Right behind that grass, if I had to guess. There's a secret room. Hack tool. Well, we got three keys, so I don't think we need it. Not that this snake was guarding anything, but... Glad to know that there's not some opportunity we're missing. Well, this is a corridor that I just hate. Nothing like a giant open corridor to say something threatening should be here but isn't. Well, that was not where I wanted that to go, obviously. Possibly going after that snake. Still, we're alive. And we can heal. If there were a bank, I would go back and get my 300 bucks. Is there a bank? I don't think there's been one this early on this floor, has there? Something back there got blown up, but I think that was a bullet and stuff. But no sign of a blank, blank, a bank around here. Thinking about Enter the Gungeon too much. All right, well, that is a great shame. You never know, we might find one just past it, but... The door that can lock and prevent us from coming back to this health bay does not give me hope. Right. Even the gold potion I would like, but... We can only play the hand we are dealt. Oh, well, I hate this. Right. Oh, yeah, I got caught on a wall, didn't I? He made me drop my bullet magnet. At least I understand that mechanic now. We can afford to heal. Fear is we're not setting ourselves up 
in a sufficient way to beat the final boss. Banking. Withdraw. Everything. Let me back. Max life up. Sold. Okay. There's a tiny bit of benefit there. One thing finally went nicely. Get the last of our scraps of gold. There's a snake. Is this six or seven? We're on six. We've still got all of seven and of eight. It's only going to get harder with flying drones and turrets on legs. There's another bank. Just taking every corner a bit more slowly now. Before, first couple of floors you can kind of race through, but now it feels like it matters way more. Please, no charges. These tiny corridors would be a death trap. Looking out for little charging, exploding pink things, especially flying ones. Man, these corridors suck. There's a charger. Got his attention. Got lucky there. Barely even saw what I was shooting at. It's such a tease where they put these long, complicated secret rooms with enemies and rocks and grass and then don't put anything behind them. I thought that might have been a pink explodey guy, but it seems to just be a rock. I did see a guy with scythes for hands just there. Just trying to use the open space before all the pillars to keep myself aware of everything that's going on before I get overwhelmed. our exit. Could be something else hiding in these pillars. Particularly snakes. Or even a health up or a bonus or something. Who knows? Alright, but I think that's everything. Three and a half hearts. A nice amount of money. Let's go on down to seven. Very quiet. I expect several turrets on helicopter blades. A couple of flying pink exploding things, maybe a charger. And many turrets, of course. Alright, well there goes that bullets and stuff, I think. No time to mourn its loss though. Too busy 
Yeah, there is bullets and stuff. Too busy defending ourselves from everything else. Pedestal here. With an extra homing bomb. Whoa, hey there. All right, that was dumb. I should have just taken a moment to actually aim. And that might have gone a bit better. Another bank. The other side of where we entered. An item room, perhaps? Whoa. All right, that's a bad time. Turret on legs, are you coming? There's the advantage of having all those extra bullets and the bullet magnet. And what's going to be out to the left? Oh man, I'm so bad. I knew there was going to be something to the left. It's hard when you're trying to shoot high and low though. Well, there's the dead end that I thought this would be. Right, that's gone well. Happy with that room, snake. Probably something else back there somewhere. There's something about this game. Sometimes it feels like it takes your input and just gives you eight of that input without kind of giving you any option to change it. Sometimes you'll just kind of strafe over a little bit further than you thought you were going to because it jams on a frame for too long. This is okay. What is that? Repellent gets... Repel snakes and bugs. Uh, I'd rather my bullet magnet, thank you very much. Oh, it's going to be so good on the final boss when we can stand in the doorway and shoot stuff. Hadn't even occurred to me yet. Still, we've got the rest of seven and all of eight to do before we get there. And this is a Horrible corridor. Yep. Alright, so that's probably the one that's on a, a switch that needs to be thrown somewhere. But there's not very much else in here, it seems. There's the cable going to its power switch. Get this drone. I'm going to try to run to that pillar there. And then over to here. That went better than expected. 
I don't think those explosives have an awfully long range. Alright, turret on the left. Charge up. Okay. So, a turret just over here to the left. There's a bad place for it to be. Got it. Snake. Get you two. Uh, that was more free bullets that we've magnetized. It's nice to have. Oh, the bullet magnet's so good. Okay. That went nice and smooth. I do feel like I'm at the point of just kind of repeating the same three minutes of audio over and over again. But I'm at the point in the game where I'm just focusing so hard on not dying. Bullets and stuff. We have two homing bombs. We could invest in a third. Make sure there's nothing hiding right on the other side of this grass trying to kill us. I think that's a plant. Okay. And also, okay. There's a turret right there. Probably another one flanking that head of that turret. There it is. I'd love to see, like, a pro FPS gamer like a CSGO or something like that play this because their twitch reactions and their aiming would just be so good to just wreck every target immediately in this game I'm sure and I just think that'll be really interesting to watch because I've not played a competitive FPS game since I think like Halo on Xbox 360. I don't think I've ever played a competitive keyboard and mouse first person shooter either. Uh, is that the magic reload glove? Bullets fire from inventory. So it's a shame that we can't have two passive things working at the same time. Because if we put our bullet magnet in our backpack and shoot, these don't zip back to us in the same way as when we do that. Otherwise, if we could have both, we could kind of have one bullet in the chamber and just fire continuously as fast as our bullets can return to us. But since we can't do that, I'm just going to hold on to the magnet. Alright, that's my own personal version of hell. So there's a guy with doubles over back there. And this guy here that I can't see their power bank for. So let's get that sorted. And that. 
Okay. I guess there is a cap on the range for our bullet magnetism. Is that going legs? It is. I'm going to hop over to the other side of this doorway and check out that bit to the left there. We'll deal with this first. Right. No random enemies hiding back in this corner. That's good. And I can't see anything in here. Keep using the pillars for cover. There's a med bay, which is excellent. We will heal at that in a moment. There's our exit door. So provided we don't accidentally walk into a snake, I think that's floor seven done. A couple of trip mines. I'll stick with my homing bombs. Thank you very much. This is going to be a heal. And I'll overheal to max health. Just do a quick look around for any secret rooms. On the off chance that there's a free heal hiding anywhere. Doesn't seem to be. Down to floor eight. Evidently... The bulk of this game is not the difficult part. It's just the final boss, it seems, now that we know it reasonably well. Crack my knuckles. Oh. All right. Starting off with some grass. Let's go the unobstructed way first. And that grass is probably the other side here. There's a med bay almost immediately. Six hundred and forty for a max life up. We're nowhere near that, and we've got no money in the bank. But we are at full health, and that's all we can really hope for right now. Right, that went well. Always makes me hesitate when they put enemies that are further back from a position that you've come to, because we walked all the way up to here, and then all these enemies were hiding behind us, which is not very typical. item room with our five keys. We'll happily pop that. That's more standard bombs. Don't know if they'll be of use to us because I'm not very very good at using them. I was going to say mechanically handed but that's just nonsense. Alright. Got that guy. Got that guy. Snake. 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 I can't believe I haven't made that joke yet. Is that a charger back there or is that just part of the plant? That's a turret. Good shot. Nothing here threatening us at this doorway. Bullets and stuff. Um, I'm going to hold my cash for a heal. We currently have no potions or anything, and I'd rather be trying to go into the boss with full health than more than 17 bullets. 
Especially with our bullet magnet doing such good work for us. And he screwed it up already. Of course. Right. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. Oh, good shot. Right as they rear up. That's dead bits of other things. There's a pedestal there. That's a red potion. We'll take that at the end of the room. Before we go through any doors or gates. Oh, you. Alright, we'll take it now. Ah, uh, what is my life? I mean, I can't complain about my life. I'm here playing video games for the internet. What is that guy? Right, I would like to be right over the other side of this to deal with that guy. Oh, I have regrets. <laughs> Wow, we got that one quite lucky. Oh, wow. This wasn't even... Oh, this was a formal door. Did that hurt me? God damn it. I was like, oh, is this a door or was this just a choke point in the level? And then I touched it and it killed me. I mean, hurt me. But obviously I'm mad about it. I assumed it would just be like an invisible wall, not like a hurt, hurt. you're going to get hurt if you walk into this. I guess it punishes stupid players like me. All right, we can do this. Definitely floor eight. An hour and 17 in, can't be much left. Looking out for flying, exploding things. Flying turrets. Also a reasonable threat. Alright, this guy. Good. Nothing we really want from that. This is a dead end, so it's only this right hand side to contend with. hate this space. So many corners. That's nine standard bombs now. Should really figure out how to use those effectively. All right. That's not so bad. Maybe one or two big rooms left, perhaps? Whoa! I did not take that many steps forward, I'm sure of it. And then multiple enemies appeared and screw me over. What is this madness? God. Well, because I took too many steps to the left by accident. Right, that's an exploding thing, right? Man, this room sucks. That guy is so far away. I 
I can't tell half of what's exploded and what's not. Please, all my bullets return to me. Thank you. The game should obviously just give you a med bay right at the end. Just to let yourself spend what you have left before going through those doors. Hey, come around the corner before the one below me sees you. Oh, if it's a tractor beam, I'm not so worried. All right, there's a little cubby over there. There's an item room there. I'm mad that I got shot so many times in this last space. There's nothing there. Running shoes? Not today. There's a bank. And another item room. Gold potion. Thank goodness. All right, we'll pop that. We'll pick that back up. We will... Banking, deposit... Everything we have. Because why would we hoard money into the boss fight? And I think that's it. So once again, here we go. Still trying to beat heavy bullets, third time to the final boss, trying to get that sweet, sweet trophy cabinet entry. So step one, stand back and shoot as much stuff from here as possible while also recovering our bullets with our bullet magnet. Okay. Well, so far so good. Seems that we're out of range for a lot of our bullets to return to us, which is a great shame. What we must try and not do is simply panic as soon as we get out there. I wonder if I just stand here for a while if some of our bullets will just return to us over time. Because we've got a lot of stuff shot down at the back end there, I think. But as soon as we go through this threshold, I think it'll all pop off, right? Nice to get that one. Is that an exploding one we've missed? It was. And that bullet came back to us. Can we just get rid of these rocks? Or is that cover that we really want? I guess we have this big pillar to our left, right? Yeah, that was worth doing. So, seven shots with another... Ten or so out there somewhere. Okay. Not panicking.
All right, that's not really working. Are we able to clear out what's left at the back and then start throwing switches? idea if picking up the coins is worth anything at this point but I'm doing it anyway well would you look at that things are under control good job well that is another win for the Roguelike Monthly Marathon. And so we can take our trophy cabinet here. And that bu heavy bullet's down in the bottom left between Slow the Spire and Hand of Fate. And give that its pop of colour and its neon pink. And that is now, what, nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten games in 23 days. It's not bad going. We're running out of stuff on this list to play, but uh, with a week left to do it, I don't know how many more wins we're going to get. But thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.